When a person comes into hospital and it's an emergency, taking medicines is not going to be the most important thing on their mind. We know from some recent work that every patient admitted is likely to have at least one issue with what we call medicines reconciliation, which is matching up the medicines they're taking with the medicines that they've been prescribed when they enter a second care setting. This can, can be an important problem. On many occasions, patients, if we get the drugs slightly wrong, it won't make much difference. But possibly in about 10% of cases, uh, there could be major ramifications. So the first step is that when they're admitted to hospital, we have to try and find out what medicines they were taking. But more often than not, the person won't be in a state to be able to share that information with the health professionals admitting them. In my experience, commonly there are major variations between what's written on the referral letter and what the patient is actually taking. And in an ideal world, we'd like to see the tablets themselves and talk to the patients. They're not always well enough to do that and they usually haven't brought their medication with them. When I had the accident at home, I thought, oh, I must take my blood pressure tablets with me. If nothing else, the rest they'll sort out for me when I get there not knowing that I was going to stay in hospital. When patients come in hospital, the problem with not knowing everything is that it could lead to issues with the patient getting the right therapy and things. And for example, the patient went to a hospital and they were on a chemo medicine which we needed to monitor them for other problems and then possibly give them some antibiotics. But because we didn't have that information, we didn't really know what to do. It's extremely useful that usually within 24 hours of admission, a pharmacist will investigate the drugs that a patient is taking and usually the following day will um, receive information. So at the point of admission, it's very, very useful to have a pharmacist um, investigate the medication and, and, and iron out any problems. If you're a patient, what I would say to you is make sure you bring a list of medicines into the hospital with you. Or whenever you're going to see a health professional, take your medicines with you and take a list of your medicines with you. Ask for the opportunity to speak to a pharmacist about your medicines when you're in hospital and make sure that when you leave hospital, the information is transferred with you as well as with the health professionals about what changes have been made so you are aware aware of what you're taking and why you're taking it and you're in a position to pass that on to the next health professional. You must know what you're taking and you must be able to get it at the right time. Now, if as a patient you want more information about how you can help to support health professionals looking after you, you can go to www.ipharmacist.me which will give you more information about transfer of care with medicines.